Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about drug calculation of injection or adrenaline if the order is in microgram per kg per minute and the responsibilities of a nurse. Well, before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Now adrenaline is a catecholamine and it comes under the drug class alpha or beta adrenergic agonists. It is indicated in case of septic shock, cardiogenic shock, cardiopulmonary resuscitation and hypotension. How is it available? Now adrenaline comes in ampule form with one ampule containing 2 ml which equals 4 mg. Injection noradrenaline, one ampule, contains 2 ml which equals 4 mg of strength. Each ampule contains noradrenaline 2 mg in 2 ml, but the label presents as 4 mg of noradrenaline acid tartrate in 2 ml. Therefore, noradrenaline 2 ml contains 2 mg. In this picture, you can read the label in the box where it is written each ml contains noradrenaline bitartrate 2 mg which is equivalent to noradrenaline 1 mg and hence noradrenaline 2 ml equals 2 mg of strength. Let's look on the concentration for single and double strength infusions. For single strength, we take 2 ampule that is 4 mg of noradrenaline and it is diluted in 50 ml of 0.9% sodium chloride and hence the final concentration will be 80 microgram per ml. For double strength, we take 4 ampules that is 8 mg of noradrenaline and diluted in 50 ml of 0.9% sodium chloride and hence the final concentration will be 160 microgram per ml. Now, let's get into the example of drug calculation. Doctor's prescription for noradrenaline infusion is injection noradrenaline 0.05 microgram per kg per minute. How do we prepare the infusion? The IV compatible solutions for noradrenaline are dextrose 5% and normal saline 0.9%. And all we need for dilution is a syringe pump, PM line, a 50 ml syringe, solution for dilution either sodium chloride or dextrose 5% and the weight of the patient. A very important thing to be kept in mind before beginning an infusion is the presence of a very good intravenous access line. Now the formula is desired dose multiplied by quantity multiplied by time in minutes multiplied by body weight divided by available dose multiplied by 1000 which gives the ml per hour. Now, injection noradrenaline 0.05 microgram per kg per minute using a single strand that is take 2 ampules where 4 ml equals 4 mg and the body weight for example is 50 kg. Applying all in the formula, the desired dose will be 0.05, quantity will be 50 that is 46 ml normal saline plus 4 ml of noradrenaline, time in minutes will be 60 body weight is 50 kg, available dose is 4 mg and applying all we get the answer 1.9 ml per hour. Next example, injection noradrenaline 0.2 microgram per kg per minute using single strand. We take 2 ampules that is 4 ml containing 4 mg of noradrenaline, body weight is 50 kg. Here the desired dose will be 0.2. Quantity will be 50 that is 46 ml normal saline plus 4 ml noradrenaline. Time in minutes will be 60. Body weight will be 50 kg and available dose is 4. And applying all we get the answer 7.5 ml per hour. Given here is the infusion table for noradrenaline infusion using a syringe pump. The rate in ml per hour is given in the box and this depends on the weight of the patient and the desired rate of infusion. So this is all about today's video regarding drug calculation of injection noradrenaline using a syringe pump if the doctor's prescription is in microgram per kg per minute. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.